hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm gonna be taking you through advanced search bar interaction featuring keyboard input animation which i created using variants on figma so let's get started so we're going to start off by designing our customized and various search bar or search input fields because we're going to be using them as our variants in order to achieve our search bar interaction so let's say a user wants to search for gen and this is the first search icon or search bar the person is seeing right then this is my already designed search bar and the user wants to be able to see this once they click on this we're going to have this as our second search bar then the third one is going to have a cursor so to achieve the cursor blinking we're going to bring in two customized search bar So this is my third customized search bar. So as you can see, this is the cursor. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to duplicate this. For this fourth search bar, we're going to remove or make this cursor invisible. I'm just going to go to the pass through for this cursor I highlighted and then reduce it to zero. I'm going to duplicate the one with cursor. Now I'm going to start putting the words I want to search. So let's say you want to search for Jean. So here we're going to start by using the first letter of the word gene so which is letter j so i'm going to hit the j key on my keyboard so i'm just going to change it to regular so this is for letter j i'll make another duplicate this is going to be for j a then i'll make another duplicate this is going to be for j a n and then i'll make another duplicate this is going to be for j a n e gene we're also going to bring in our search bar results i mean when you're done cleaning gene and then you hit the search button you're supposed to see like search results so this is what my search result looks like again i created this using an auto layout for this search result, right i'm going to hold my shift key then highlight these three search results and then head over to the layer section for the pass through i'll reduce this to zero percent then i'm going to make another duplicate of this search result this time around this one is going to have just the first one visible so i'm going to highlight the first search results among the three which i made invisible on this one i'm going to highlight it and then head over to the pass through and increase the pass through back to 100 percent i'll make a duplicate of this again and then for this part i will make this one visible together with this first one so I'll just head over to my pass through and then 
increase it to 100 i will make a duplicate again for this search result and then i'm going to make this one visible so i'll go to my pass through and then increase it to 100 percent next thing we're going to do now is that we're going to copy this our first text field this one and then bring it down to this place paste here if you're following this or you want to recreate this you're supposed to have a total of 13 customized search bar it's time for us to you know start linking these potential variants i'm going to highlight all of them including the search icon and then head over to the component section and click on create component set that way we will have multiple variants these are our variants we have 13 variants in total whenever you see this what you have to do is to rename the ones that have exact names as the others so i'm just going to change this to main text field to avoid conflicting then the next thing we have to do now is that we have to start our prototype i'm going to link this to this second one i'm going to select on click it changes to this and then we're going to set it to smart animate of is out then i'll set it to 300 meter per seconds i'll take this link it to this we're going to use on click and when the user clicks it changes to this one which we linked it to and then we will set it to smart animate of ease out 300 meter per seconds then for this one i'm going to create a prototype between these two and this is going to be after delay and we're trying to create the cursor blink effect right so i'm going to set this to an after delay of 400 meter per seconds we'll just set it to instant and then we'll select this empty cursor search bar again and take it back to this one to achieve that blink effect so we're also going to give it the same thing after delay of 400 and we're going to leave it at instant we're going to link this one from here to this search bar that has the letter j right we want to key in letter j for this to be able to be triggered right so what we're going to use here is key or gamepad so once you select the key or gamepad figma is going to bring this up and this press key is for you to press the key that you would want to pop up or you're supposedly searching for so i'm going to select letter j and i'm going to select it on my keyboard so once you select letter j which is this letter that is here right we we'll leave this at instant trying to key in this j could fall on either this or this since we did an after the law of bringing this here and taking it back so we're also going to take this and also link it to this i'm going to select key or gamepad and i'll do the same thing i did for linking this to this so i'm going to hit the letter j key on my keyboard then the next thing we're going to do now is to take this search bar that has letter j right and create a prototype between this and this going to select this and click on key gamepad as well i'm going to put a here everything here is going to be instant then you're going to take this one 
and link it to this I'm going to select keypad and then you're going to key in your n on your keyboard since n is the new added one here you're also going to leave it at instant then you also do the same for this select link it to this then select the key or gamepad and then choose e letter e on your keyboard and remember to leave it at instant then the next thing we're going to do now is to link this from here to here so for this section that we just finished now is assumed that we've been able to successfully type gen we're now going to select after delay i will set this to 300 and then i'll set this to smart animate i will set this to slow and 200 meter per second so i'm going to link this one this search result to this right that this is going to be an after delay after delay of 300 meter per seconds is going to change to this one and then we're going to select we're going to use dissolve and then set this to is out of let's say either 400 or 500 but i'll just set it to 500 so i'm going to select this and link it to this and it's going to be an after delay of 300 just like we did it's going to change to this and then it will also be set to dissolve this out 500 meter per seconds then we're going to do the last one take it and link it to this place it's also going to be an after delay of 300 dissolve is out and then set our time to 500 meter per seconds this is our last search bar section which already has the three search results complete right we want to now close it i'm going to link this here this is going to be on click so when you click on this it switches to this one which is our last variant and then we're going to set it to smart animate of linear we're going to use linear and then set this to either 300 or 400 i'm going to take this one back to this i'm going to use after delay after delay of 400 meter per seconds and this is going to be smart animate of ease out and of course 300 meter per seconds we're done creating prototypes with our variants i'm going to add this one which is the default search bar we're going to add it to our mobile screen so that we'll see how it works so i'll be using this android android large mobile screen on figma just take this and then add it to this place I'm going to preview our interaction. So once I click on this, it expands to this. Once I click on this, you see that cursor blinking. You click on J, which is the first letter of the word you want to search. The J key on your keyboard. So I'll click on J so once you click on j it changes to this then i'll click on a which is the second one i'll click on n which is the third one and i'll click on e 
and once i do that the result comes out like this click on this x and it goes back like this so guys we've come to the end of this video and i hope that you learned something today if you have questions or any concerns at all please do let me know in the comment section